Hi. Have you ever felt behind when it comes to Gen Z slang? Have you ever wanted to generate G Gen Z slang? <laughs> well, me neither. I'm here to solve that problem for you. We're going to build... No longer will you be behind the game. You're going to be ahead of the game. We will know the slang before it becomes... You're going to be the source. Because today, we're going to be generating Gen Z slang using an AI. We're going to be using the GPT-3 AI. You know, the one that published a paper about itself and it's almost indistinguishable from it human writer yeah that that one. Oh, and also elon musk is one of the founders first we design an award-winning interface not based off of the example code at all then we find a random article with 50 gen z words copy and paste it into a document and then format it so our ai can actually interpret it read it and understand it then we go to where we call the api in our code and copy and paste our formatted gpt3 readable slang definition pairs and we test out the fruits of our labor by inputting some slang words. We did have one final thing left to do though. I decided to edit the dog logo to make it more AI-like. Make his eyes a normal color, like red. Nice. That, that, that seems fine. And then we were done, or so I thought we were done. And I'm gonna put this on Twitter and I'll define people's slang words. So after an hour or two, I realized my Twitter account has zero followers. So I decided to post everything on Instagram. And here is what I got. No, 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 but that's not enough. We can't just, we can't just generate things like that. We need to have a Twitter bot online that replies to your comments and automatically generates de definitions for them, right? Why, hello there. We meet yet again. Why do I always forget what I'm gonna say? We have come to the point where it's now time to upload our wonderful website to the interwebs. Right, so I'm just gonna, gonna, um, realize that there's no build file and be very confused. What's going on here? What is happening? Is there no build file? Dot next? What is dot next? Ah, uh, man. I think I have to learn Next.js. So I figured out uploading with Next.js. I'm not liking it. So I changed my mind. Next.js might be just freaking awesome. Focus. Deployment. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> Yay. It's online. How do I get to it? I honestly don't believe anyone's ready for this. Slang AI dot and in my domain Rakugaki study dot com. Slang AI, okay. Oh fuck. Well, yes, when you misspell it, it's probably not gonna work. Yo, it's online. Let's go. Okay. Make up a slang word. Moshi. Generate. Okay, it, 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 it takes... It takes a bit of time. But it works. It's working. Alcoholic version of a mojito. I don't even know what that is. But that's fine. Epic. So, today's episode 
of Corrin's world is finished, probably. And now for your favorite segment. Slang review. Slang review. We'll be reviewing the most hilarious and anything that really it outputted. Uh, oh, okay, that's my name. But it could be used to describe the way people stay inside all day long. That's not true. I went out. Did I go out? I walked to the car. Like, come on. It's pretty inaccurate, GPT-3. Ah, uh, shus. Shus is a sus person who is shady. Or up to no good. Okay, apparently I thought that was good. Yeah, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. This is evidence that you should follow me on Instagram. And also Twitter. Schmeef. Now that is something that I would say. What does it mean? Your supremely attractive friend that always manages to get away with things. Okay. Schmeef. Gaza. See, this is incredible. How does GPT-3, like, derive it? It sounds like gazelle. It's derived from gazelle and used to describe someone who's very fast or agile. Like, that makes so much sense. Spork. Okay. Good idea, because, like, we say cap and, and I don't know what else we say. But it can also be used to describe someone who is a mix between two things. <laughs> You're a spork. <sighs> okay, this one's going in the bloopers. But this is pretty good. Someone who's always complaining. <laughs> SMH, SMH my head. When you hear or see, hear something that is so stupid that you shake your head in disbelief two times. Hmm. Papa is PayPal. Like, I can see that. Like, okay, let's move on though. I don't wanna, no examples for that one. No examples. Um. GPT-3 occasionally comes up with weird things and I skipped over this one in my stories, but just keep in mind that it can come up with some uh, inappropriate things. Finally, we have the polydidact functioning with more than one brain. I totally agree 100%. I have more than one brain, probably because my left hemisphere and my right hemisphere are disconnected. Yep, we're gonna end on this one. This is the best one in my opinion. Polydidact. So if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to... No, I, I, okay, bye, see ya. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, bye, see ya. See you, Titus. Yeah, <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Italy. See ya. Got him. You're an ass. Oh, okay. You're an ass. Okay. I'm gonna do my message. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo. Free polydidact merch. Thanks, Titus. That's actually insane. Lap. Okay, if you're gonna use the website to find some cool things, I'd like to see what you find. Send it to me or do hashtag slang AI and I'll be able to find it that way. And we'll do like a weekly comp compilation of what cool things people have found. Aight, see ya.
Yelp. This one was good. I remember this one. Yelp is a Yelp review that is excessively long and detailed.